So let's open up a new file. I will go to map one, open this and click on open as a new file discard. So here you can see it is basically a simple rectangle. Whenever we have a proper rectangular geometry, in that case, we used to mesh it using the map command. Map only works whenever we have a proper rectangular shape. So go to map and click select, select on this, hit the roller. Okay, we have to first choose the proper element size. So once again, go to erase visible, go to length, macro, select this, hit the roller. Let's say size is five. Now press escape. So go to map here, map and let's say go to visible. Now you can see it has created a proper rectangular or quad shape. Similar thing you can also do using the four sided. So we will also learn it. Now let's open up a new file. I'm going to open up the file that is map 2. Pick up this file and drag it. Click as open and discard. Now you can see this is again a rectangular shape but it is not a proper rectangle means one side is smaller than other. Let's see what kind of mesh will be generated. First go to length, select this, hit the roller, enter value 5 and OK then close. Now once again go to map and click on select let's say select this face and hit the roller and here you can see the software has not properly created the kind of rectangular shape we want. The reason here is because it is a diverging type of geometry. So in such a type of situation first what we have to do is we have to make sure equal number of elements are on opposite side. For example, go to this number plus minus option. Here you can see number is 10. On the left side it is, it is 10, right side it is 10. Okay, okay. But these two sides here it is 10, here it is 7. That is a problem. We have to either make it 10 or equal. So in this case what usually we do is reduce one from here and let's say I will make nine here. But still our mesh is still not good. So in this case what we have to do once again go to map regenerate. Once again select this face hit the roller. Now you can see a proper mesh has been created. If we select the 10 number of element onto this smaller edge here then in that case the mesh will become very fine the element size will become very small. So usually what we do we take average of these two values. In this case that we have taken the value 9. So I will go to erase and visible. Another similar command that is used to create meshing around the rectangular shape is the four sided command. Go to this four sided. Here it is more detailed type of command that used to do meshing of more complicated quadrilateral shape. For example here we have to select element type mixed smooth let's say standard everything is same as default. Click on this face next. Now you can see mesh has been generated. Click finish. Click cancel. Okay, so to understand this command in more depth, I will open up new file. So in your project folder, go to four sided file, pick and drag this, open as a new file and discard. Now in this file here, you can see it is again a rectangular type of shape, but little bit more complicated because here it is a cutout section. First, let's try to mesh it using our simple best command. Go to best and let's say visible. Okay, we have to select the element size. So go to length, select this face and let's say element size will be 5 and OK. Now try it using the best. Go to visible here and you can see the mesh flow around this curvature or cutout section is not proper. So erase this, click visible and let's try to mesh it using our map command. 
go to map select visible so it is you you can see one macro remain unmatched it means this command has failed to this kind of meshing so in this case we used to do mesh using four sided option go to four sided select this face and first let's start with the default settings go to next now here you can see the mesh flow but again there is a trial element trial element means we have to either increase the number of element on this edge or reduce from the bottom what i do i will increase this number so click on this okay it will now directly increase make check on this same number at opposite sides okay now finish and cancel this so again there is a trial it has not able to remove so what we can do we can go to number plus make it left click so you can see trial has been removed and this type of shape has been captured in a much better way but still you can see one thing the flow of mesh is not proper here in that case what we can do is we can use the smooth command so go to this shell mesh here you will see smooth click on this select select option hold down the left click and pick up this area let's say this area up to here i will drag it let's say which you were which ever you want to deselect make a right click again make right click here so here we have to smooth this click on this arrow again and okay you can see mesh has been smoothened close this so this is first basic way of using this command and now i will erase and visible now once again go to this four sided let's try to open up some more options here so let's say i will go to isoparametric select this face spacing if is off right now click on next and click on finish so basically what this option does is it capture this cutout in the mesh here you can see there's a inclined mesh here so with this option it capture the geometry with the mesh so let's erase this go to erase and visible once again go to four sided another option here here you will see is the spacing so right now spacing is off you can select iso space so let's say select this mesh click on next also here you will see type of selection macro and shell again we used to select macro here then angle take by default only aligned macros or unmeshed when i check on this only the unmeshed surface will be selected and with this only aligned macros will be selected so we used to take uncheck on by default and click on next so what this option does is basically the spacing between each element will be iso means it will be equal here you can see in the top and in the bottom click on finish here and click on cancel so in this way you can use this four sided option now there is one more option that is remaining that is circular once again go to your project file let's say i will open up the file plate with hole once again pick and drag it and let's say open up discard again in this file here you can see we have a circular hole so what i do i will cover up this hole so go to topo here go to kunz and here select the circular option here select this line hit the roller click okay you can see a surface has been generated but right now you can see this circle is not visible properly so this is just a basic graphic problem in ansa you can improve this by making the smaller element size go to your length option and go to here length select macros here hit the roller let's say make it 5 and hit enter now you can see this circle is visible much better way so if you want to mesh it if so if you want to mesh this circle using our default option let's say i will go to best best and uh, let's say select click on this hit the roller 
you can see the flow of mesh is not a good type of mesh here you can see this is an inclined mesh again this is this type of mesh is not recommended for the circular shape so to do the meshing of circular shape in a proper way we have a proper circular command so let's say i will go to visible and erase this go to circular option select the circular shape take all default setting by default go to next now you can see the mesh is properly horizontal by default i will click finish and you can see such type of mesh is generated go to erase in visible once again go to circular in this you have some more settings let's say select the circle you can select zones by default zone is 1 you can pick up this arrow and increase this so let's see the change i will increase the size and finish now you can see with this zone option number of circular zone has been increased so this is very useful whenever we have some bigger circle smaller circle so we can change accordingly so once again you can erase this and we want to explore some more options so in the pattern we have o grid and radial if i select o grid zone let's say select one or uncheck on this click on this spacing we have iso space means equal space take it as off and usually around circle we only take even number of now nodes so make check on this click on next and click on finish so with this o grid option it is going to create o type of structure now you can see one o type of meshing has been generated so let's say once again click on this circle and i will increase zone to increase the number of layer let's say i want five layer take it all default value next so with this option here you can see number of o grid points have increased number of five layer means if you zoom in here layer are five here okay i will back click back another setting here is the radial so once again select the circle click on next and in this case you can see it has created a smaller circle inside and it is connected by triangular elements this generally this is not something recommended and most of the time we take the default setting go to default zone and check on this finish this is the most preferred setting to do the meshing of circular holes so these are different types of algorithm that are used in ansa